How's it going guys? My name is Vertigo, and welcome back to the painted world of Ariandel. Uh, when we last left off in the previous episode, we accessed the DLC, we watched the opening cutscene, and we explored the very beginning of the area. Uh, in this episode, we're going to proceed further into the painted world. Before I do that though, I am going to backtrack a little bit. I want to see what other secrets were available in the earlier part of the DLC. So I'm going to double back. I'm not going to record the whole thing. If I find anything, I'll post up the video clips. Uh, if I don't, I will see you guys back here by the bridge. So uh, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. Are all the wolves already dead? I feel bad about that, but... I didn't really have much of an option. Alright, this is where I came down? Yeah? Alright, cool. There's another corpse over here. Oh, hello. You're a big pupper. Hey there. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. How many more of them? Just one? Shit. That big one's about to pounce. Holy crap, that's a big dog. Holy crap. Withdraw Pyro Flame. I want to hit him with a frick. Holy crap. This guy has a ton of health. Alright. This is bad. Oh crap. It's fine. I can handle this. I can't handle this. I'm in trouble. Drink the frickin' flask. Oh my god, this guy is frickin' massive. He's tough as hell. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm about to die. Sugar snaps. Frickin' uh, I'm dead. That was way too fast. There was no way I could have kept up with that. Oh boy, wow, that was tough. Alright, well, I have found my first adventure. So my problem is going to be battling through the pack of wolves and then fighting that guy. Because those wolves are tough as hell. Alright, well, now I have my first goal. I dog breath. Round two. Alright. Little pups are down. Mostly. I missed a couple. Alright, you guys gotta get the hell out of here. Alright. Let's take this one slow. This guy's big, and he has a crap ton of health. And he seems to be able to turn into snow and just attack me at will. Crap. Alright, Estes. Did he... I... Hello? He's dead? I could have sworn he had more health than that. But I guess I'm not going to complain too much. Got a crap ton of Titanite shards for that. Um, alright. Oh, hello. Uh, hey. Can I climb up here? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe? No, doesn't look like it. Hmm. I can probably take advantage of this. Maybe? There goes the dog. I just need the guy. Oh, there goes another dog. Alright. Oh, he's got a bow. You're going to make my life tough, aren't you, man? Come on, show me that pretty face. That's a big bow. Holy crap. That is one big frickin' bow. He is not... Do not tell me that guy is hunting wolves with that bow. Oh, I'm in trouble. Alright. 
cool. So far, so good. I can take this guy down. Missed him. Alright. I'll nix on the headshots for now. Scored one last one there. Now I'm just going to pepper this guy with arrows. Nothing to it. He's got really low poise. Like, these arrows are just knocking him back. Alright, well, there he goes. He vanished. Did I get souls for that? Huh. I wasn't really paying attention, I guess. We interrupt this regularly scheduled broadcast to bring you a special news bulletin. Hey guys, this is Post Commentary Vertigo. I needed to stop the video really quick to talk about something I noticed while editing. During the fight with that great wolf, I made a note that the wolf seemed to just suddenly die. Even though I had made several notes about how much health the wolf actually had. And yet, it, with a random stab, it just seemed to die. Something I did notice, however, is that when enemies die in the painted world, they just kind of vanish. The Milford whatever knights, Millwood knights, just kind of vanish. Yet, when the wolf died, it turned into a puff of snow. My theory right now is that the wolf isn't actually dead, it just teleported away. It has some kind of ability to transform into snow, and once it got to a certain point in its health bar, it just vanished. That's my running theory right now, anyway. I guess we'll see what happens as the rest of the DLC unfolds. Now, back to you, present day Vertigo. Alright, moving forward, let's see what else this area has to offer. Large soul of an intrepid hero. I see a nope. Oh, goodness gracious, you are a large man. Hello. That didn't hurt, did it? What? Oh my god. Frickin' shield hitboxes, man. I'm in trouble. Holy crap. That guy just sent me flying. Alright, let's try this again. A little more cautiously. Holy crap, what a shield bash. Alright. Estus. He's gonna charge. Holy crap. That was... This is a really unsettling combination. This guy is crazy fast. He charges... Just him hitting the ground will stagger me. Oh crap. Alright. That's enough out of you. Just a Titanite Shard. That guy seemed way tougher than a Titanite Shard's worth. Alright. What else we got going on up here? I don't see... Hello? Nothing? Okay. What the heck was that sound? Oh, alright, I knew you were alive. Oh, I didn't even see the health bar change. Wow, professional Dark Souls player right here. Alright, I see a few more of those guys. What about up here? More of those Witchwood trees, maybe? That's what I'm gonna call them for now. Something big just moved. Hello? I don't see anything moving. Uh, up here, yep, this is around where I fought that big guy. Maybe. I need Ash and Estus. Alright, just sit still. Let me take care of you the easy way. This doesn't have to be painful. Those are dog corpses? Alright. Millwood? Holy crap, where did you come from? I'm frickin' dead. Holy crap. I did not see that guy coming at all. I do not get taken by surprise that often. That was crazy shocking, though. I knew I heard something. <laughs> oh, boy. The painted world is proving to be a bit more of a challenge than I thought. But, you know, that's the whole fun of Dark Souls, right? Alright, let's get back to where I was. 
Alright, so before we go back down to exactly where I were, uh, I found another little side area, um, basically opposite where the giant wolf was. Uh, I found a note that says, Weapon ahead, but be wary of enemy horde. And I see a very large group of the... Fuck, what are we calling them? The Farron followers or something? I think it's something like that. Fortunately, I don't like to engage in groups, so I will kite them out one at a time as long as it takes. And, uh, yeah. That's my strategy. Holy crap! Good golly, Miss Molly. I'm getting really sick of this. These things gotta stop sneaking up on me. That's twice in, like... Oh crap, I'm in a lot of trouble. That frost breath really takes it out of you. Alright, anyway. Fortunately, the followers themselves aren't really much of a threat. Neither are the trees. It just becomes an issue when they gang up on you like that. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a regular tree and just uh, one of these bewitched ones whatever we're calling them eventually I'll get a drop hopefully if they drop anything are these guys hollow? they sure look it if this guy could stop blowing fire and let me get a good look at his face I'm pretty sure these guys are hollowed large okay so that's not the weapon I was enticed up to I knew that was too easy Oh crap, holy cow. These guys are javelin throwers. Alright, I have to approach this a little differently. Alright, well, that took care of them. Have another fire breather. No problem. This guy is screwed. Follower boots, and this will be. What's behind me? Nothing. It's ahead of me. Okay, cool. I got really concerned for a second. Um, is this the opening area? That's what it looks like. If so, that guy can go screw himself. I don't even care about him. Uh, let's take a look at the follower boots, I guess. Uh, what are they? Legs? Duh. Follower boots. Boots worn by the Farron followers. When a warrior, a Farron fell to the abyss, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Well, that confirms that the followers are indeed hollow. Alright. Well, that takes care of that. Now, time to go back down to where we were. Hmm, I'm not really interested in coming back down here, but I do want my souls. Oh, so there's that guy. Alright, give me those back. Now my souls. Alright, so now it's just a matter of getting out of here alive. 
probably going to be a lot easier said than done. Alright, fortunately, the wolves aren't all that tanky. It's the fact that they just attack in swarms that makes them really tricky. So we're just going to say screw them all. There's that big hammer guy. What the heck? Oh! Alright, I see what's going on here. You're dead, huh? Nothing's following me up here. Soul of an old hand. There's someone at the top of this tower. Shooting arrows at me. Hello, you are a large man at the top of this tower. Uh... He doesn't seem to be interested in defending himself, though. Oh, alright. He didn't have his melee weps out. Alright. Come on, just die. Crap. Alright. Oh, that's bad. Oh my god. I can't believe that just happened. I definitely I thought I was about to walk down the stairs. Oh boy, the painted world is proving to be quite a challenge. Psst, be very, very quiet. I said fuck everything on the way up to this tower and he's a red eye. You gotta go down, dude. Please tell me that killed him. Good. Alright, so I, uh... I literally said screw everything on my way up to this tower. I ran past every wolf and whatever these guys are on my way up here. Just kicked that guy off his uh, little perch. So I th I'm hoping that'll be the end of him. And now uh, we're on this shoddy tower. What was that? Was that an item? So there's something over there. I'm going to guess I can't make that jump. Huh. Alright, let's see where this little path takes us. I'm going to have to drop down it, I'm guessing. What the hell was that sound? Hello? I heard something. Don't tell me I didn't hear anything. Okay, soul of a venerable old hand. And we got a little treasure out on this perch. Which I'm not too crazy about coming to get. I feel like something really bad's about to happen. Captain's Ashes. Alright. Well, there's a, a new ash we can give to the Shrine Handmaiden. Alright. So if I drop down super carefully on this... I hate this part of the Souls games. Like FromSoft... Millwood Battle Axe. Like FromSoft knew they were giving us a shitty median from which to platform. Um, you know what I think I'm actually going to do? I think I'm going to use the Coiled Sword Fragment to return to the shrine. I want to do something with all these souls before I, uh, so I can stop putting myself in stupid situations to get them back, only to lose them again. Um, so we're gonna head back to the shrine. We have a couple items to look at. What's up, fire... Wow, firekeeper. Completely lost uh, track of my thoughts. Alright, so we have got a couple things to look at. For starters... Um, where is it? Captain's Ashes. Umbral Ash of the Captain of the Millwood Knights. With this, the Shrine Handmaiden will prepare new items. Long ago, when the Millwood Knights lost the forest they called home, they began a journey so long that even thoughts of their sworn enemy washed away, replaced by a vision of a cold and brittle wood. Alright. Uh, so this tells me... So first off, the enemies we've been fighting are the Millwood Knights, it sounds like. We've picked up several pieces of equipment that reference Millwood... Uh, so I'm guessing those are the big guys that are skulking around the snow. They lost the forest they called home. Began a journey so long that even, like, what they had before, the enemy they had before, was 
completely forgotten, and replaced by a vision of a cold and brittle wood. So something about this wood is significant, presumably the wood of the trees that are living in the, uh, the painted world. Alright, we also have a couple other things to look at, not here. Millwood Battleaxe. Battle axe wielded by the Millwood Knights, an eternal its its blade is blessed by the symbol of the ethereal oak. A hefty axe normally wielded by the mightiest of warriors. So it bears a symbol of the ethereal oak, whatever that is. Uh, and we also have the Millwood Great Bow. Great bow crafted from with black oak and wielded by Millwood Knights. Only specialized great arrows can be fired from the bow. It is said that the Millwood Knights use these to face their sworn enemy, the Abyss Dragon. And it has a skill called Pierce Earth. Huh. That seems interesting. Abyss Dragon. Is that, um... Crap. What was the dragon in Dark Souls 1 that... Um, crap, what, why am I blacking, uh, Calamite, the black dragon Calamite, that's not Calamite, is it, the Abyss Dragon, I don't think so, cause his name was only called Black Dragon Calamite, although I suppose it would kinda make sense if it were, although I'm not 100% sure, I'm just saying that because, uh, Calamite was re related to Artorius and Hawkeye Goff, and there's a lot of wolves in the painted world, which brings me to Artorius, although that's probably just because wol wolves live in the woods, and um, the Great Bow reference is, you know, a reference to Hawkeye Goff, but I suppose that's a, m a bit of an unfounded um, theory at least for now. I guess we'll have to see. We haven't gotten anything else, have we? No, they've been pretty scarce with their drops. Um, all right, well, let's give the captain's ashes to the shrine wow. handmaiden. Yes, yes, indeed. Gracious, passing fine ash, thou Let this, I only hope these are... Yep, all right, so the usual dialogue. All right, what's new in here? Uh, and you know what probably would have been smart if I looked beforehand so I could kind of tell what the new stuff was. Uh, this is definitely new. Millwood Knight Helm. Helm worn by the Millwood Knights adorned with the antlers believed to grow from the blessed beast of the ethereal oak. Great. The ethereal oak now has a beast associated with it. So I'm assuming I'm going to have to tackle that at some point. When the fabled Millwood Forest was discovered, it was a vacant ruin. The only thing left was the ethereal oak stood rotting. No corpses were discovered, yet their belongings lay neatly on the ground. Huh. Alright, so Millwood Forest, the forest the Millwood Knights lost, was a vacant ruin. The only thing left was this ethereal oak that we still know nothing about. Aside from it has some kind of sacred beast associated with it. Uh, and just, it was just there rotting. There were no corpses, but their belongings were there. So either something happened to the corpses and they just disappeared, or the Millwood Knights just stripped naked and left their stuff at the foot of the oak. Uh, I guess it's too early to say either way. Um, yep, the other equipment doesn't offer anything else. It also has the Millwood Great Arrow available to us. And you know what? I th Do I need to use the bow? I think I might use these, but not right now. Alright, nothing new. Alright, let's do something with these souls, i.e. level up. And, I don't know, dex, I guess? No, you know what I'm having trouble with right now? Stamina man management. There's so many enemies in the painted world, I'm having trouble keeping up with them all. So let's up our stamina. Alright. 
So let's head back to the painted world. Oh, presumably I can just warp in. Cool. Let's... Yeah, let's just keep going to the bonfire we've been to. Alright, well, let's continue our exploration back into the painted world. Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, we're running. I tried to say screw all to all these wolves again, but, uh, they weren't so easy to give up on me this time. So, we're just... Oh god, not again. Oh god, you can all screw off. Oh my god, this is bad. Poor decisions have been made here. Oh god, alright. Uh, well... Holy crap, what's happening? I don't like what's going on here now. Alright, well, we went up the hill, uh, next to the tower, and, uh, well, here we are, at the bottom of this ravine. Oh, hello. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I've been brought back to where I think I am. I am about to be so miffed. All of that to get brought back to the bonfire. Alright, well, at least now all the wolves are skewed. Alright, well, that was a doozy of an episode. Um, I did not expect this to take that long. Uh, I did not think ex there would be that much more on the other end. That really goes to show this DLC is massive. Um, so that's going to do it for today, actually. Next episode, now that I'm relatively confident... What the heck is that? Ladder? Hello? Alright. Next episode, we're going to go down this ladder. The episode after that, maybe... We'll go across this bridge. Man, this DLC is massive. I did not think they would add this much of an entire new area. Whew, wow. I hope you guys are ex as excited about this as I am. I'm definitely enjoying this. This is the first ever Dark Souls 3 DLC I've done, like, right after it's released, before all the secrets have been revealed. I've avoided every spoiler I can. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a huge kick out of this. I hope you guys are as well. And I hope you guys will tune in for the next one. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop me a like, leave me a comment, hit that subscribe button. Everyone counts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day, guys. Peace out.